Pakatan Rakyat or PR will win if fresh elections were to be held in Perak, thus to avoid that from happening, Barisan National should move a motion of no confidence on Datuk Seri Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin as the state's Menteri Besar or MB. Responding to the call by some Barisan leaders to dissolve the state assembly to pave the way for fresh elections in the state, former Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad says that the people are sick of elections and that it is a waste of money. The Pakatan is going to win. So why have an election? Let's have, we already had the election. Why do you think Pakatan is going to win? Well, uh, that's my feeling. You know, I didn't carry out any survey, no polls or anything like that. Just a, a feeling that I get after the debacle in Bukit uh, Gantang and all that. Speaking to reporters after delivering his keynote speech at the Asia-Pacific Outsourcing Service in Cyberjaya, Mahade says that switching the state's MB through the courts has given a negative perception of the country to the rest of the world. It's not good for the world to see us changing chief ministers every other day because courts uh, uh, make decisions. Uh, one says you are no longer the chief minister, uh, the Menteri Besar. The next day you say no, you cannot do yet, we will give a stay. And then later on there's another decision. This musical chess is not very nice. Earlier this week, the High Court ruled that Datuk Seri Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin was the rightful MB and that the post could only be deemed vacant through a vote of no confidence in the State Assembly, which never took place. However, Datuk Zamri Abdul Kadir later filed for an appeal against the decision in the Court of Appeal and was granted a stay of execution again returning both parties to their original positions, allowing Zamri to remain as MB while pending the decision of his appeal. Meanwhile, Benama reported Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak saying that Barisan does not fear having fresh elections, but reminded that elections are only among the many options toward resolving the Perak political crisis and not something that has to happen. Najib was reported saying that the decision whether to hold the election is up to the Sultan of Perak, Sultan Azlan Shah, and if elections were to be held, he adds that Barisan was ready to face the people. As if the political turmoil in Perak will tarnish Barisan's image and chances in the next general election, Mahadi says he hopes that the people will eventually forget about this incident.